vous avez la parole. Madame, madame, madame Nardous Bekele Thomas, <rire> la coordinatrice du système des Nations Unies en République sud-africaine. Merci beaucoup, euh, euh, grand frère. Um, I think three minutes, I will say yes, I agree with all what you have said. Thank you very much. <laughs> Uh, but anyway, because I've been given this opportunity, let me just say that, you know, I'm just so happy to be talking actually uh, as a last speaker because of the fact that, you know, um, I have seen the, the enthusiasm and the optimism of some of our leaders, starting with our sister, uh, Amina Thai, and, and also with the Prime Minister. It's very important to understand the fact that, you know, yes, with the demographic dividend, dividend Yes, with the GDP, that is not negligible when we talk about all our countries, the 54 countries. Uh, and um, yes, with a population of 1.2 billion consumers, producers, innovators, uh, it's really possible to be the powerhouse, uh, you know, in the 21st century. Like, uh, you know, Asia has been at the end of uh, the 20th century. They started the way we, we did. Okay, but you know, while we have all this potential around us, we need also to reflect on how to co-create, you know, our systems to be um, adaptable, to be relevant to the society of the future. I hate to say the future society, but it is to the society of the future because we have to reimagine what it would be like. Therefore, first of all, the first thing what we have to reimagine is like the note, the concept note that you have produced, uh, the chairperson, is really our political system. It's not doing a service. We really need to reflect deeper, go deeper, and analyze. What is it that we can do to tweak and to calibrate, to make sure that it meets the need of the future? And the second thing I should say is that we are abandoning more and more because of the media and everything, our value system. So how do we go back to our own African value system and have a moral regeneration? And that is for the cohesion, that is for peace building, that is us working together to implement the Agenda 2063. The third thing is, how do we reimagine also a governance system, a structure that enables us to work together in a coordinated, collaborative manner? And I will say this because of my experiences ev everywhere. We have adopted the system of a silo approach when it comes to implementation. But what is missing in Africa is not policy, not at all. We have many policies, and I agree with the, the speaker before. We have strategies, well thought out strategies, and Africa has now the capacity to produce its own policy, homegrown strategies. But implementation will be a critical important. We cannot implement, and we have learned it from the, co uh, you know, the COVID-19 experience, we cannot implement something that is really um, a problem of one sector without bringing all the various sectors in a holistic manner. And therefore, an integrated approach is critical and very important. A whole society approach is very critical and very important. We have to bring our youth at the center and at the front. We have to bring our learning institutions, research institu institutions, technology centers at the front and the center in planning and implementation of our of our programs. And I think it's very critical and very important that we look at that. And finally is the partnership and resource mobilization. I'll be very brief. Partnership, it has to be equitable. A partnership, a partner comes because the partner has an interest. But we have to have our strategy in engaging with that partner and discuss at an equal par. Resource mobilization and funding is very critical and very important. Our domestic resources could be used efficiently, effectively. The illicit financing should be stopped. Debts should be managed properly. And, and if we do all this, 
and make sure that we are really going with, with a paradigm shift of saying we will manage with self-reliant and teach our children you know, to be more of independent and not to be dependent and despondent like uh, uh, you know, my sister Aminata said. We will arrive there and we will certainly be the powerhouse in the 21st century. Thank you very much. Thank you.